Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants coming to you from Central Florida. Today I'd like to take you along to Walmart to check out their plants and see what they have to offer. I'm not a frequent Walmart shopper but I have been to this Walmart in Gibsonton, Florida a couple of times and the weird thing about it is their garden center, the doors are not open. So you have to go through the main entrance. And I've noticed that since they have stopped opening this door, it seems like their garden center has really declined. It's been a few months, so let's check it out. I haven't left the main store yet, and it came up on these this display of bulbs. Um, I've never planted bulbs before, but this year I'm interested in a large collection of alocasias, colocasias, caladiums for my front yard, and this looks like a great deal. Um, they have a large variety, and if I recall correctly, in Lowe's, the five bulbs were $7 and something, and here they're five something, so good deal. So heading back to the garden center, and as you can see, there's no one back here but me. It's a little spooky, <laughs> uh, me and my noisy cart, but yeah, it's totally empty back here other than the plants. So let's look around over here. Um, some succulents and cacti and some trending tropicals plants so far what I'm seeing these are all pretty typical for this area wait a minute this one is one that you don't see all the time um, some nice candapsis some uh, just a little of everything back here let's check this out this is the Costa Farms uh, Philodendron Golden Crocodile. Now, yeah, this is on their website for $49. I did do a video showing one time whether they're the exact same plants that you find in the stores. And yeah, they are. And in the store, it's $19.84. And although that's a lower price than the $49 on their website, these plants used to be $16 and something here in Walmart. So they've gone up a little bit and they're um, costing the same as like in the other big box stores. Here's a global green um, pothos. You see the ZZ Raven. Um, so all of these again are pretty common here other than the golden crocodile. I've only seen that one other time. And for my Hoya heads, here is a nice size Hoya. Yeah, nice and full pot. $20. Can't beat it. Yeah, very, very nice. For some reason, I've had one of these before and I killed it. So I'll leave that here for someone else. And some bromeliads. Now, the plants in these pots are $14.98. There's a large variety, as you can see. Some caladiums, Philly fig. Um, Polthos, Diphenbachia, a little of everything for sure. Just giving you a little glimpse of what there is to offer. But again, like I said, these are all plants that you typically expect to find here. Nice hanging baskets. Oh, wait a minute. Now this is not something that we see all the time around here. This is an Aglionema. Uh, frosted ghost and for $15 excellent price there are two in this pot so definitely a good deal so let's keep looking to see if there's anything else hidden in here lots of flowers it's that time of year when people are getting their you know their flowers out in the yard some roses that aren't looking the greatest over here for $5.97 are some tulips. And as you can see, it's a little bare back here. These shells used to be just like packed with really good plants. Over here for $4.97 and $5.97 are some succulents. Moving on at the top shelf, some desert rose plants. And oh, some very nice bromeliads, not a big selection just two varieties but they're in good condition let's see what the price is on these um, they used to be less expensive here and yeah, 1488 
that's pretty much the going rate at most of the big box stores now so not necessarily a discount but bromeliad in good condition i love these drop-in uh, collections of succulents that you just get and drop into a pot and these are twenty dollars i think that's always a great deal because you get so many different plants for one price so as long as they're in good in good condition i think that's a great deal all day let's see what's back here um really just not seeing much yeah some ferns um Mm, some crotons. The crotons look good. They're small, but um, they grow rather quickly outside. Nice full pot and not a bad price at all. So a decent price for these crotons and they have three different varieties. So that's always nice. Uh, let's move. Okay. These look like California elephant ears or California California Alocasias. I have purchased these before. They're a good size. Let's see. Now that's an excellent price. Under $10 for a nice size Alocasia. I love the ruffles on the leaves. Very nice. So that's a good deal, I think. Um, let's see what else we have. Things just aren't looking really good. Some of these are looking like they're definitely on their way out. They're clearance plants, but yeah, they're in the right place. Um, more roses. This is a pretty rose. Most of them don't have blooms, but when I'm buying roses or things that blooms, orchids, all of them, I go for buds, not ones that are already fully in bloom, and that way they can bloom at my home. So yeah, for some knockout roses, not a bad price at all. And these seem to be in good shape. But yeah, I would definitely count the number of buds or try to get the ones that have the most buds on the bush. I'm a little disappointed in this shopping trip, but I feel like the best finds today were definitely this Ghost Aglionema Frost. Very nice and at an excellent price. I also feel like you can't go wrong with the California Alocasia um, for $9.97. That's a great price for a lot of plants. On this trip, I purchased uh, a few packs of the Caladium bulbs. Um, the price, five something for five bulbs was a good price. And I would love to use them in my backyard. I think they may get too much sun back here, so I may have to use them in the front. But either way, I'm excited about them. I decided to pass on the philodendron um, golden crocodile because it's the same price as everywhere else now. Not a must-have. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay well. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.